I decided to make an app using this new Claude 3.7 Sonnet model that came out the other day. And it's an app that I've been experimenting with with my very limited programming knowledge for a while. It's for my kids. It's a pixel art color by number generator. And yes, you should be drooling because this is incredible. It's something my kids are obsessed with, but whatever. What I've done here is I've gone into just a regular old prompt in Claude. I have not created system instructions. I've not created a project or anything like that. We're just making one big, and it's not huge either, but one pretty sizable prompt. And what I wanted to do is just go through the user story situation here. So uh, you think of a, a programmer and you've got all these different criteria that their program needs to accomplish. I've gone through several steps that I wanted this thing to accomplish. And it just starts spitting things out immediately. Now that's in the regular, not the deep thinking or not extended reasoning version. So then I opened another window and I created the same prompt over here. And I went a little nutso in formatting. You don't have to do new lines for this, but I'm OCD like that sometimes. So I did and I made it look pretty and I put on the deep thinking uh, deal and I saw what this would look like compared to the first output. And what I found is gonna surprise you probably. What I do is I go into Visual Studio Code, make a directory, like get things set up on my desktop so that I've got an actual directory for all this to be housed in. I've got the two Python files, one from the deep thinking model and one from just the regular Claude. I went and I got some pictures because basically what this does, this program does, it takes an image, it downscales it, it pixelates it pretty much, and then it generates a graph paper looking thing with color by numbers. So the, it's like graph paper and I want it to have numbers representing the colors that the kids are gonna color in here. So those are really the only inputs. I didn't touch this code. Uh, I didn't do anything to it. All I did was just have it run like you saw from the prompts. And this is the first thing that I got. Now the color key was messed up, but it worked. I mean, and I threw it over into Excel. I was gonna do some conditional formatting to check stuff, but I could kind of see, I could kind of eyeball that. Yeah, you know, it's, it's doing some pretty good output. Now, here in a minute, I'm going to tweak the code. So instead of having to check it myself in Excel, it's just gonna give me both the image uh, with the colors as well as the color by number. So I can actually see, hey, this is garbage and it's not gonna work, let's correct that. Um, so I'm going in here now and the deep thinking model, it actually created an error. So it imported, it tried to import web colors. I was getting an error and it's like, oh yeah, terribly sorry, Eamon we're actually not using web colors. Let me rewrite that code and delete that line. So out of the gate, even though this is specifically for math and coding problems, the deep think I hit an error with it. Now you might say, okay, throw it out, garbage. Well, the output when I did get it working was actually a little bit superior, just the layout of the graphs and everything. It looked better, the version that I got from the deep think. So, General output, it needed tweaking for some weird reason. And it was a pretty amateur mistake, like trying to import a module that was not being used. Okay, so then I decided let's make some changes. Let's go in and have it actually give us in the PDF. Well, let's do two things. Let's have it do multiple files instead of just one file at a time, but then also give us uh, an image that can go with so we can check what the uh, image is supposed to look like. Okay, here's the part where I'm actually adding the functionality to make a directory of images so I can just grab like 20 images that I want to be converted into these PDF, printable PDF deals, coloring pages for the kids, and uh, going through another kind of lengthy explanation of what I want it to do. And it goes through the reasoning and it uh, takes a few moments here. Um, I went now and I found some Pokemon pictures grabbed a bunch of these, uh, I think like five or six of them, threw them over into the folder that we were going to be using, 
I tried to get some with some different colors. I think they were all PNGs except perhaps one. So this did work with PNGs or JPEGs. I did run into another error there. The good thing about all these models, even if you're using the free basic stuff, is you, you can just say, hey, I'm getting this error. It'll usually realize its mistake and uh, generate the code correctly the next time. Then I'm doing my tests again. And sure enough, lo and behold, it's actually printing out everything in the directory that I wanted it to, each page followed by, as you can see, the actual colored in image. This was an incredibly good output for, I spent, I think, 30 minutes in total. And a lot of that, I sped this up, of course, in the playback. A lot of that was just in me being kind of dense and just moving slowly. And I didn't at all, like I said, edit the code anywhere. So this was all code that was just generated on the fly. You can see I did some Mona Lisa right there at the end, and it even did some nice artwork like that. So I'm quite impressed. I mean, this has great potential for somebody like me with a little bit of technical knowledge, but not a ton of know-how to fill in my knowledge gaps on the fly, pretty much learning as I go the next thing right in front of me. That's what I'm so excited about with this. It's been quiet on the Claude front for a while, so I'm happy to have a new release. It's still kind of the winner for me in terms of writing output for creative writing, as well as, as I've seen here, building scripts. Hey, if you like stuff like this, please sign up for my free newsletter in the description below. I think you'll get some value out of it as well. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Hope you have a great one. Talk to you later.